Hey guys, it's Big Dave here, and I just wanted to give you a heads up about the video that you are about to see. I had some problems with the audio sync in the video, so I have removed my beautiful face, and instead I've put in some random footage of me playing the Star Wars The Old Republic beta test. So I'm going to throw it over to myself, and I hope you enjoy the Weekend Roundup. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and it is time for the Weekend Roundup. This is the Weekend Roundup for the week ending on Saturday, November 26th, and I don't know why I just did that. Uh, but I didn't have any problem remembering the date because November 26th is the day after November 25th, and November 25th is my wedding anniversary. So, yeah. Word to the wise, if you're a man out there, remember that day. You don't have to remember any other day of the year, but remember that day. Yeah. It's important. To her, at least. It is, really. Seriously. All right. Let's move on to the thing that brings us all here, and that is gaming. So we're going to kind of try to buzz through this one because there's a lot to talk about. We'll start out, as we always do, on TGN. My goodness, TGN. Yes, well, the decision was made earlier this week by the TGN powers that be that they would like to restrict the level of access that uh, most people have to their channel. Uh, previously, senior directors were allowed to have unfettered access to the main channel, but they've decided that even though being a senior director uh, entitles you to access, that doesn't necessarily mean that you get access, that you need access. And they've only given access to those who I suppose they deem need access. I guess I was not one of those, and so I did not get access. And that's okay with me. I mean, whatever. It's their decision. I'm, I'm not uh, arguing with it. It is what it is. Uh, what it means now is that I have to s uh, submit anything I want to go to TGN. I have to submit it through a form. Um, what it also means is that I'm now less motivated to do video content for TGN. So, eh. Um, I am going to finish out my Space Marine series there. Um, I, I do look forward to still working with TGN. I'm not going to stop working with TGN at all. I, I just, I had several projects up in the air that were being developed, and uh, a couple of which are already ready to go. Uh, and I know one of the ideas I was developing is going to have to be scrapped, because it won't work without me having access to the home channel, to the to the TGN channel. So, yeah. That's basically what it's meant for directors like me. For their directors who just churn out massive amounts of content on the most popular games in the world, um, it hasn't really meant anything. Those guys have continued to churn out massive amounts of content on extremely popular games and capitalize on the popularity of those games to get a ton of views on their videos. And that is certainly one way to do it. Uh, one thing I think that uh, with TGN, my observation is they're becoming more business-like and less family-like. Uh, when I first came aboard TGN, even, even though it was only about six months ago, it felt more like a family. And what I mean by that is you sort of implicitly trust the members of your family until they give you a reason not to. And um, if you are a business, you implicitly distrust your uh, your employees. I was going to say family members, but your employees. There is, a, there is an innate distrust of your employees. You know, uh, businesses have you uh, clock in and out. They have you uh, they have you padded down on your way out to make sure you're not stealing anything. They have security cameras that monitor you. And these are all things that in the interest of business they have to do or they feel they have to do. And TGN's going in that direction. The direction of uh, feeling that they need to restrict access because of security, because of the the risk, uh, because of what could be lost. Um, they could lose a lot if one rogue director went in and deleted all the videos off of TGN. Um, that could be a big deal. So um, I understand it from that perspective, but what it means is that um, some directors like myself are now less motivated to make content because it's harder to get that content published and therefore harder to get that content noticed. So, uh, yeah. But we did a Space Marine video, and uh, yeah, let's take a look at a clip from that. All right, whoa, 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 what in the, oh my god, no, not this guy. Oh, shit. Oh, oh no, no, no. Now, that Space Marine video was also posted here on the home channel, as all Space Marine videos will be from here going forward. You can always get the Space Marine videos here first, and then you'll get them on TGN later, whenever TGN manages to get them actually posted. So, speaking of the home channel, let's talk about what we did on the home channel. Well, we played Zenbound. Zenbound, the, uh, how did I describe it in my tweet? The Bondage Simulator. Uh, that's how it kind of feels. Um, 
Zenbound was an interesting game. It, it did have its origins in smartphones, in the iOS phones specifically. Um, I believe they call those iPhones. Uh, so they had their origins on the on the i systems, and um, it's an interesting concept. It was fun for a while, um, and for the for the time that it was fun, it was really fun. Uh, but it did get old quickly. The concept once you got a handle on the concept, it started to the fun factor started to dip. And what you sort of saw in the video was towards the end of the video, I was just getting a good hold on the concept. I played the game about ten more minutes, and the fun factor really waned. Um, to me, the coolest thing about this video, though, was that it started a fun conversation with the Nitro Mountain, where we talked about the possibility of uh, the possibilities of smartphones and gaming, where it could take gaming, where it could take independent gaming, and uh, that was a whole lot of fun. And that's the sort of stuff I love when one of my videos can spark a conversation with one of my subscribers or a viewer um, or just a passerby or whatever. So I really, really liked that. I really, really liked that conversation. I felt that that really added something to the video itself. So if you haven't seen that conversation, in the comments below, uh, below the video, not below this video, go over there, take a look. That is the Zenbound 2. It was Zenbound 2, actually. Zenbound 2. I think I just said Zenbound to begin with. So, uh, yeah, check it out. Zenbound. Let's have a look at a clip. So, yeah, this, this shape is also weirding me out. All of these shapes look vaguely like sexual positions. Hmm. Right. So from that BDSM simulator on to a frustration simulator. Well, not really, because the frustration is real. It's not simulated. <laughs> um, Super Crate Box. Super Crate Box. Super Crate Box is an absolutely free game. It is a score challenge game. And uh, really, all you got to do is cr collect boxes. Crates. Get crates. That's all you got to do. Sounds pretty simple, right? Well, it ain't. Um, yeah. Super Crate Box is one of those games. It's just... It's maddening, uh, but it's fun, and I find myself continuously coming back to it. I keep it on a memory stick, um, and and I play it at work. You know, when I have five minutes of downtime, I just play it. You know, for ten minutes. I s notice I said when I have five minutes of downtime, I play it for ten minutes. Yes, <laughs> I take a fifteen-minute break and I play Super Crate Box for twenty minutes. Then I realize, oh crap, I'm five minutes over my break, and I come back. In, you know, I come back to work. So uh, Super Crate Box. It's an amazing game. It's totally free. If you have a group of friends or if you work in a, a gaming-friendly office, as if those exist outside of, like, the Game Station and Machinima uh, or IGN or whatever, it's a great place to, to park this game. You know, um, put it on... A, a, put a score sheet on Google and challenge yourself. Challenge your friends. Uh, of course, you can always go for the high scores, but those high scores are insane, the online high scores. If you go to supercratebox.com, it has the leaderboards. Um, those leaderboards are insane, so you'll never probably achieve those uh, just in casual play. But uh, it's fun to challenge your friends, and, and in fact, um, I had uh, talked in the video about the idea of making that a series on TGN, a series where I would uh, challenge other directors and viewers to Super Crate Box and other games eventually. But I don't think that's going to happen now, and it is because of that change to TGN. In, in order to actually make that series happen, I would have needed access to the channel to moderate um, viewer responses, uh, video responses. And now that I don't have that, it really can't happen. So, um, unfortunately, this is a casualty of TGN's new policy. Excuse me. Let me let me have a drink from my tiny cup. See, this glass is from a beer festival. This little line is how far they're supposed to fill it up, right? And when they start out the day, that's pretty much where they put the beer. But at the end of the day, these people don't want to carry these big kegs of beer home, so they're filling it up and then up, and then up. It's a fun day. It's a fun day. If you are of age, I would suggest going to one of those festivals. Not only do you get to taste some amazing beer, because I actually think certain types of beer taste good. I know a lot of people don't think that, but I certainly do. So you can taste some amazing beers and get totally, totally smashed. Totally. Just falling down drunk. If you enjoy that sort of thing. I enjoy that sort of thing about twice a year. And I would recommend that about twice a year to everybody. Just totally lose all your inhibitions, get fall down drunk, and uh, make a fool of yourself. Spend the rest of the year then apologizing for the things that you did. So, yeah. As I was saying, my Super Crate Box idea has been a casualty of TGN's new policy. So, uh, unfortunately, creativity has been stifled in the business environment. 
oh well, it probably wouldn't have made many views and therefore made much money. Ah, uh, yeah. Can you tell I'm... Even though I say it's their right to, to do that and I really don't care, I'm a little bit bitter. I mean, of course, it's, it's natural to be sort of ego hurt. I wasn't one of the ones that was chosen. Oh, I'm a little ego hurt. But, you know, it'll pass. It'll pass. And I've unlocked the revolver. Now, the one cool thing about unlocking weapons is that it's cumula cumulative, cumulative, if I can pronounce that word, uh, meaning that you don't have to maintain a score. It doesn't take a kill streak, if you will, or a crate streak, I guess is more appropriate. So, yeah, let's talk about what we're going to do next week. Next week is going to be Space Marine Week. Yes, I'm sorry to those of you who may not enjoy the Space Marine content, but I'm going to be doing nothing but Space Marine videos next week. My goal is to make three Space Marine videos next week. Maybe four. I'd really like to make four. And all those will be posted here in lieu of my other videos. So if you don't like the Space Marine content, it's maybe just not going to be your week. Um, I could throw in some videos from my stash of videos that I made when I was on vacation a few weeks ago, but really I want to save those for a rainy day, like for a time when I really can't make any videos. So that's gonna, those are going to stay in the bank, and those are going to save my butt one week when I just have no time at all to make videos. So, yeah. Space Marine content, that's going to be three to four Space Marine videos posted here on the channel. They will be submitted to TGN. Whenever TGN posts them, that's up to them. So we're going to move forward. We're going to finish off that series, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. What else are we going to do next week? We're going to give away a humble intro version bundle. Now... I know that's a little bit of a lame prize to give away because you could go and pay a penny for it and get one for yourself, but I paid $10 for this bundle, um, and all of it went to charity. I, I adjusted my sliders to uh, $5 to Child's Play, $5 to the EFF, um, so it's all going to charity. $10 was what was paid for it, and it is a it is a way to get a bundle and not um, not screw them out of the cost of having to process your payment. So, um, of course, as you all know, if you put in a penny, um, it actually they actually lose money because it costs them to actually process your payment. Uh, so, if you can pay at least five dollars, if you can't, well, okay. But um, yeah, it really sucks to cost charity money. That's kind of a little skeevy, honestly. I mean, I think if you can only afford to pay a penny, you really shouldn't buy it at all. Because you're, you're essentially, by paying a penny, you're stealing money from charity. Yeah. My eyes are burning a hole through your soul right now. Mm-hmm. All right. Enough of that. That actually hurt my eyes. Oh. So, uh... Yeah, we're going to give away a bundle. Here's what we're going to do. It's going to be super easy. All you have to do is put a comment on this video that says Humble Bundle. You don't have to have Steam or anything. You just put a comment on here that says Humble Bundle. I'll send you the link. You can go to the website. If you have Steam, you can redeem it through Steam. If you don't have Steam, you can use the download links on the page. However you want to do it. It'll be yours. It's going to be the gift referral code that you get when you designate your Humble Bundle as a gift. Um, so that unlike my past giveaways that actually required you to have Steam, this one doesn't. So, uh, Humble Bundle, in the comments below, I will randomly select a winner. You have until 11.59 and 59 seconds Eastern Time on November 30th. So, once it strokes midnight and the day changes over to, what is that, December 1st, you're done. Eastern Time. I don't care what time it is where you are. I don't care if it's already the first where you are. If you're in jolly old England and you want to apply and it's like, you know, 1 o'clock... GMT, well you can still make it. You can still you can still get in the contest. You can still put your comment up because it's not midnight here yet in my part of the world. So uh, that's what that's what you gotta do. Nice, simple, easy. And again, like I said, ten dollars to charity in your name essentially, even though it's not your name. But uh, th that's kind of what we're doing. So it's a bit of a charity giveaway, and uh, that's the idea behind it. So win a humble introversion bundle. Put humble bundle as a comment to this video this video right here, this weekend roundup, the weekend roundup for the week ending on 11, 26, 2011. All right, well, let's talk about what's going on this weekend. Oh my God, it's sales of many. Steam is blowing up my wallet with a lot of sales, but Gamers Gate also has a ton of similar sales. Almost every sale that's going on on Steam that is not a daily deal is also available on Gamers Gate. So don't be fooled by Steam sales. They put the daily deals up. That's what they put on their main page, right? Those are amazing deals. But 
a ton of games are actually on sale at, at smaller discounts. So go in, check out the rest of the games, and um, you know go to the individual categories, indie, um, uh, action, strategy, that sort of stuff, and look at all the sales that are in there, because there's a ton of games that are on sale. But everything that's on sale on Steam that isn't a daily special is also on sale on Gamers Gate. Um, a lot of people, including myself, prefer to use Gamers Gate when they can because Gamers Gate has the Blue Coin Reward Program. For every dollar that you spend or cent that you spend, um, you know you get a point, and those points can be used towards uh, free games. So pretty much, you get free games for buying there, and that's pretty freaking awesome. Well, that's awesome to me. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Tons of amazing sales on this Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend. So uh, go ahead and uh, head out to your store of choice, uh, well, your virtual store of choice, and uh, buy some games because there's a ton of them on sale right now. Also check out Amazon. Uh, Amazon is having some awesome deals on some of their downloadable games. Um, a lot of people don't know that Amazon sales... Sales? A lot of people don't know that Amazon sells downloadable games but they do so uh, check that out and they have a lot of amazing sales including they had Space Marine for 50% off I don't know if they still do but that's 25 US dollars that's pretty amazing so uh, head over check that out and uh, spend a bunch of money this weekend <laughs> alright guys that's gonna do it for us I have been Big Dave and uh, no wait something else popped in my head like you have to tell them about the thing but there's nothing goodness gassy again this camera makes me gassy i think that's what it is all right guys thanks for watching thanks for listening to my ramblings i have been big dave till next time take it easy